We had only few IT physicians and we had only one small isolation ward. And after the South SARS outbreak, we realized that we have to have more facilities, more ability to respond to such threat. So first we developed protocols, guidelines, entire system that helped us to deal with infectious diseases threats. It's very now well known what is supposed to be done and who is supposed to do it in case something happens. The second thing, we now have quite a lot of facilities. We have people to deal with this. Infection control is now much stronger. Department of Infectious Diseases is much bigger and our isolation facilities are much better. SGH isolation ward was designed from the beginning with variety of infectious diseases in mind. Spreading to air, spreading to touch, uh, highly contagious. Also this ward is ready to deal with sick patients. It's not only isolating them, but there are also high dependency units. Uh, almost it has a cap capability to function as ICU in case the patient gets very sick. The variety of nursing staff is, is ready to deal with variety of patients, be it surgical patients, oncology patients, immunocompromised patients. Compared to regular work, the rooms are smaller, frequently are single rooms. They have the feature called anteroom where the, there is a negative pressure, the, the pressure that kind of sucks out bacteria from the room, from the anteroom. There are a lot of automatic doors, there is a lot of attention into hand hygiene, into special contact precautions where you have to wear gowns and gloves. Even the airflow is controlled, even the way people enter and leave the ward follow the special pattern. If the new unknown disease reaches Singapore, we would be prepared much better now having the experience of SARS and several outbreaks on the way. We know the routine. We know how it, uh, we will receive early warning. We will know how to ramp up infectious control precautions. We will know at which point introduce more and more draconian measures. And we will know how to cooperate between hospitals.